welcome back. Uh, well, it is turning out to be a day which is quite steady, you'd have to say, for the market. So the Nifty is holding on to 17,400 as we speak. We have the mid-cap index, which is up over 300 odd points. So let's see whether this kind of momentum sustains or not. But let's talk about a company now. Uh, Defense PSU Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers is in focus. The stock is up nearly 90% in the last one year. Earlier this year, the company did sign a pact with Rolls-Royce Solutions to manufacture marine diesel engines. To discuss this and the benefits from the ongoing fleet expansion uh, in defence, we are joined by retired Commodore P.R. Hari, the chairman and the MD of Garden Reach Shipbuilders. Thanks, sir, for joining in. Well, if you could just start by talking about your tie-up with Rolls-Royce, which you did sign earlier this year. Has it started taking off and what would it mean in terms of addition of numbers? in the coming quarters. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, before I answer your query on the collaboration with uh, Rolls-Royce, let me intimate you and the viewers that uh, our uh, financial results for the quarter ending and nine month ending uh, 31st December 22 has been very encouraging. And we have been able to maintain the tempo that we set uh, during the first two quarters of the current uh, financial year. Our revenue from operations have gone up uh, by nearly 62 percent from 1212 crores to aware of your numbers crores. do you, so we are aware of your numbers due to paucity of time generally uh, if you could just concentrate a little bit on uh, the questions okay. which are being asked yeah okay the question asked uh, i understand is on the collaboration with rolls royce yes uh, we have been having a a healthy business relationship and an existing license agreement with uh, MTU Rolls Royce for the last uh, 10 years. We have now moved one step further, that is towards uh, localization and indigenization of the marine diesel engines. Uh, this is the project now we intend translating into a license agreement within the next six months and expected to fetch uh, rich dividends since uh, both in the Navy and the Coast Guard will be using these marine diesel engines for the projects that they're going to come up with. Mr. Now, as regards the, yeah, please, please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, sir, I wanted to ask you, since you're talking about this collaboration and the opportunity and the dividends that particular deal will get in, can you tell us the size of the opportunity here? Because you did see an increase in your order book. You are you're sitting on order book of 22,240 crore rupees. That is as in December. Uh, will it start adding to your orders in this quarter itself? What is the outlook going forward from this collaboration and how much will it add? <coughs> Okay, these diesel engines that we are going to build along with MTU are for small and medium-sized warships of the Indian Navy and Coast Guard. Definitely, the returns uh, will not be accrued from this quarter itself uh, because we intend signing the license agreement in the next six months and after that, based on the order book that is received from both the Navy and the Coast Guard, irrespective of which shipyard gets the order, be it uh, GRC or any other shipyard, the engines that are most likely to go into these ships are going to be from this collaboration. Now, Coast Guard has already come up with an RFP for 14 fast patrol vessels. That is 42 engines. That is the volume that we are expecting from this order. Navy has already come up with an RFI for 21 water jet FACs. That is 63 engines. So nearly 100 plus engines is what we are looking at in the next two to three years coming out of this collaboration. 100 plus engines coming out of this collaboration. Uh... Uh, Commodore uh, uh, Hari, you know, if you could also tell us a couple of things about your own business itself. Uh, the third quarter, like you said, revenues were up 44%. It's reported to the exchanges as well. The first nine months of this year, revenues up 62%. The last time you joined us, you said that your 25 to 27,000 crore worth order book that there is will be completely exhausted by FY27, which means that your revenues by FY27 would be four times what they are in the previous fiscal. Can you give us some more sense of uh, your current order book? What are you expecting in terms of inflows coming in? And is there a risk of any delay? Okay, our current order book, as you mentioned, uh, is 22,242 crores as of 31st December. And we expect to conclude a contract with the Indian Navy for a, an order for four uh, ocean-going patrol vessels, around 3,400. So at the end of uh, the current financial year, our order book is expected to stand at plus 25,000 crores which is a very healthy order book. As I had mentioned uh, earlier uh, during one of our interactions, that uh, the current projects, excluding the next generation ocean-going patrol vessels, we plan to complete by FY27. So yes, it is a known fact that the order book will be exhausted. And so the revenue accrual will increase in the coming years. 
Okay. Uh, one of the key things that I wanted to, you know, also focus on, sir, was the margins. Uh, can you tell us about what kind of improvement you would probably see in your margins based on what you are envisaging on your order book? See, uh, as uh, we are a heavy engineering shipbuilding manufacturing industry, any margin that is a pat margin above 7.5 is healthy. We have been and we will maintain a profit margin of plus 8% uh, in the coming years. Uh, that is the assurance that uh, we I intend providing to the viewers and you. Your margins on a consolidated basis for nine months was at 6.5%. So what might you be tracking for Q4 and this 8% guidance? Are you uh, providing that guidance for FI24? See, as of the nine months that ended uh, uh, 31st December, our PAT margin so stands at 8.26. Uh, for the quarter that ended 31st March, it is 8.53. Definitely, we'll be maintaining a margin plus 8 in the coming years. This is what you're talking about. That the is considering a... Yes, this is what you're talking about, the PAT yes. margin. What my colleague meant to ask is about the EBITDA margin, yeah. because that fell on a YOY basis. And you said it is because of orders coming via competitive bidding is the reason why margins fell. That's what you said in the analyst meet, right? So can you tell us whether this trend will continue, these competitive bidding uh, processes, and that is something which will continue to keep your margin under pressure, or will it see improvement? See, competitive bidding is the order of the day. The era of nomination is over, competitive bidding is the order of the day, and we have won orders on competitive bidding at uh, wafer-thin margins. How we are maintaining this EBITDA margin plus 10%, uh, 12% is our, 12.55% is our nine-month margin, and how the PAT margins are being maintained is purely through rationalization and re of our revenue expenditure and through process improvement. Yes, despite the competition that is remaining and that will continue in future also, we will be able to provide uh, similar margins. Yeah. Uh, you know, just uh, finally, before we let you go, ship repair, you said, uh, will increase from what, about 10% of your revenues to 30% of your revenues. Just wanted to know by when that happens. And is ship repair a lot more margin accretive than other parts of your business? Yes. Ship repairs, uh, Mr. Mangalam, the margins are high. Actually, much higher than what is there in uh, shipbuilding. And as I had mentioned earlier, we started with shipbuilding just about a year and a half back. And we already started seeing the results, of course, in a modest way with, uh, from our facility that we have taken over from the uh, Kolkata Port Trust. Uh, to answer your question as to when we will reach that 8 to 10 uh, percentage uh, of our overall revenue, uh, 3 to 5 years. That is the target we have kept internally. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you so much for joining us today. That's the word coming in from Garden Reach Ship Builders. The stock is high by 3% and they do have uh, some orders coming in which will increase the order book and they plan to uh, increase their revenues as well on the back of higher uh, opportunity coming in from defense. Uh, with that, we'll slip into a short break now. On the other side, Vishal Manchanda of Systematics Group will join in for a discussion on the pharma sector.